Hi you guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, I have a major Sephora haul for you. Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I themed my outfit to match my Sephora bags. <laughs> so embarrassing, but you know what? That's how I roll, so you're used to it. Um, okay, so it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the Sephora sale. It's the spring sale, which is 15% off everything in the whole store. It's amazing. I have all the details down below for how you can qualify and get the discount. Um, I'll also link, I have two other Sephora hauls. I have tips for how to budget for a major shopping trip like you're about to see. Um, and I also have how I planned for this sale because the shopping list on my phone was so long. <laughs> it was a very organized shopping trip. I'm very pleased with everything I got. So let's quickly just dive right in. Um, let's start with some body products. The first thing I got was this Moroccan oil body gel. I have talked about this before, but I have these red bumps on the backs of my arm. It's called KP. If you have it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, lucky you. And I'm forever looking for a good solution. And one of my friends told me this body gel by Moroccan oil shower gel actually like cleared them up for her. So that sounds like a miracle. <laughs> I don't know what's special about this. I will definitely report back, hit subscribe so you can hear me talk about all these products as I start using them more. But I will say it's just beautiful. I love the like clear orangey bottle. And let's see how it smells because Moroccan oil stuff smells so good. Mm, it smells good. It's like a little masculine maybe though. Not in a bad way. I actually love like boy scents, obviously. I feel like boy cologne is designed for girls to like it sometimes. So, you know, whatever. I like that. Um, okay, then this is the only hair product I got. It's another Moroccan oil beauty and it is their dry shampoo for light tones i'm obsessed with it it's the best dry shampoo ever especially if you have lighter hair it just really lightens you up between getting highlights or whatever they also have one for darker tones so if you struggle with having darker hair and dry shampoo kind of looks powdery on you check that out for sure i love it it adds volume it stretches the time between washes it's great okay here was <laughs> a first impulse buy I actually haven't dabbled at all in the Fenty Beauty stuff. I, I was like, I have to just resist because if I try one thing, I'm gonna want everything. But I finally got suckered in to this and it is so fabulous. Let me see if I can open it to show you. It's a like basically a sparkle poof. <laughs> it's like a body poof that has sparkles in it. I don't wanna rip the packaging because it's so pretty. It is a plush shimmer packed puff. So let's see if we can open this. The packaging is obviously to die for. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. It's so perfect. It's like something my grandmother would have had on her vanity. It's this beautiful pink puff. It smells just kind of powdery and delicious. Can we tell that it's sparkly? I kind of don't want to create like a sparkle powder bomb explosion right now. I tried it in Sephora and I just like patted it on my arm and like all these sparkles came out everywhere. I'm one of those people who's like pro sparkle. So I feel like sparkles are a very divisive topic. You either love them or you hate them. I love them. So I had to jump on that. Um, okay, where should we go next? Let's talk about some kits that I picked up. So this is called Kiss and Tell. And it just looked so cute. It was one of those things at the cash register. <sighs> Waiting in line at Sephora is dangerous because everything is like so tempting right there. And it's not cheap. Like it looks like it'd be little cheap stuff. I think this was about 20. But look at this cute pouch. I thought this would be so perfect to keep lipsticks in in my purse because I'm forever like fishing around and trying to find my lip color, which is all mixed in with everything else. So I thought this would be a really easy way to just grab that out. And then it came with these two mini lipsticks. Let's see how they look. I've never used this brand, Wander Beauty. They literally just reeled me in with the cute pouch. So this one is a darker, definitely outside of my normal color range. Let's swatch it. Very pretty though. I like it. And then this one. This one is so me. This is the color that like all of my lipsticks are. I just love that nudie pink. So my hand already has swatches on it from being in Sephora this morning. And I'm sure by the end of this video, I'll be all swatched up. 
But those are the two colors. I think they're very like universally flattering, pretty shades. And then it comes with this. So that's a little bit of a jackpot. I just love getting the kits. I've said this in another Sephora video. I think the fact that you can get the discount on a kit is just amazing. Like what a huge perk. So for instance, this one is a Peter Thomas Roth kit. And it comes with the full size of their eye masks, the water drench ones, which have hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for your skin, retaining moisture. I literally use these eye masks on my eyes every single morning. It's like how I get out of bed. I keep them in the fridge. It's such a pick me up. But then it also came with their cucumber gel mask and their cloud cream cleanser, which is of that same line. So it probably has hyaluronic acid in it as well. But I don't, I don't know if this is a full size. Wow, this seems full size. Are these all full size products? I got it because this whole thing was only $58 and I was just gonna get my eye patches, which are $52, I think, maybe $54. So I was like, oh, so for four more dollars, six more dollars, I can get these other products. And I think they're even like full size. So this was a huge, good deal. I'm so excited. I love the cucumber gel mask. I love all masks. I'm addicted. Okay. Here's another amazing, amazing set deal. This one's from Cotley and I came to get the spray, which is $49. And this whole kit was $49. And then of course, all of this was 15% off. So I just felt like this was a little bit of a jackpot, um, for the same price I was going to pay, like literally right next to this kit full-size bottle for the same price this one's a full-size bottle and it came with a mask which you know I'm all about it's a detox mask and then it came with a foaming cleanser which I'm kind of like eh I feel like foaming products tend to be kind of drying so we'll see how that one works out but overall I was really thrilled with those kits I picked up Sephora just has a ton of amazing kits right now um okay powering through talking about more masks I had to pick this up this is Dr. Jart it's just so cute it's been all over Instagram and everybody's YouTube and I've been kind of biding my time and I was finally like, I gotta do it. It's the rubber soothing mask. It's like a little creepy. I'm definitely gonna have to warn my husband when I do this, but I just thought the packaging was so fun. I got the one that is, yeah, soothing. They also have like brightening, I think firming. So I'll report back on that. Then I also restocked one of my other favorite masks of all time. This one's First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. I have very sensitive, reactive, finicky skin, and seeing as skincare is like my top passion and hobby that I just love dabbling with, my skin goes through a lot. So this mask is like my tried and true, calm things back down, bring me back to a neutral, happy skin place. And I just love it. It's very soothing. You can put it in the fridge. You can put all of your skincare in the fridge. It's a million times better. Okay. Then let's just keep rolling with the skincare. I made two Tatcha purchases. Tatcha is one of my all time favorite brands, but it, it ain't cheap as we know. So first of all, I restocked my Camellia oil cleanser. I just adore this cleanser so much. I got it for the first time during the fall Sephora sale. And I was so proud of myself because I actually used the last pump of it last night. Like I rationed it out until the spring sale. I was like, I'm not going to pay full price for this cleanser. It's amazing, but it is so expensive. Um, so I was just thrilled that the timing worked out and I just restocked that. It's just a great oil cleanser. It's so nice. The texture, the smell, it's so gentle. It's not overly like perfumed. I just love it. Then I also restocked another Tatcha favorite, which is the Dewy Skin Mist. By the way, how gorgeous is all the Tatcha packaging? I just, I love this brand. Um, so the Dewy Skin Mist, I kind of stopped using it cause it's almost too dewy if there is such a thing is very, very dewy, but lately it's so dry in California. My skin has just been craving all the mists and sprays I can give it. And I was like, you know what? This is the time to bring this back into my life. I also restocked another mist that I love. This one's by Dr. Dennis Gross. It's vitamin C and collagen. So like the two powerhouses of skincare right now, I feel like, and it's just a really good refreshing mist. You can do it over or under makeup. I like to feel like I'm kind of like feeding my skin during the day. Like it's just got good stuff in it. So I always come back to that mist. I'm actually going to do a video on my whole face mist collection because it's a bit much. Um, and I think you guys would enjoy that. So like I said, hit subscribe, stay tuned. Um, okay. What else? So this is a drunk elephant product. This is the B Hydra 
It's like a gel. It's very, very hydrating. It's like a serum. You can mix it with other serums. My favorite thing to do with this, and I know it's a lot of your favorite things since we've been talking about this, um, mixing the B Hydra with their vitamin C serum is like such a winning combination. It feels so good. I love it. I've actually been kind of cheating on my drunk elephant vitamin C serum lately and using um, the Sunday Riley one because it has vitamin E in it as well. But I think I'm going to switch back because I just love mixing this with the C Firma. Okay. I, in addition to being addicted to mists, I'm also addicted to micellar waters. Like it's, it's kind of weird, <laughs> but I just adore a good micellar water. Speaking of videos to stay tuned for, I've been kind of hoarding them and I'm going to do a massive review of all the different ones uh, from drugstore to higher end. But this has been calling my name for a while and it's the Beauty Water by Sun and Park. And I need to learn more about this product. Um, I was trying to read it. Most of it's not in English, but it's, from what I understand, it's like a micellar water, but it's also a bit of an exfoliator. So let's see what the packaging looks like. Um, I really wanted to use this, maybe not even just on my face, but maybe also on my body. Oh, I, I just knew it would be pretty. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited about this one. I've been reading the reviews and it's just sort of an intriguing different product. So I'll report back. Then I wanted to restock my favorite toner of all time. I've been out for a while and I was like, I'll wait till the sale. The sale came and I realized they discontinued it. So I'm so bummed. It was the fresh black tea toner. And it seems that they have retooled it to become this black tea kombucha treatment essence. But I mean, I think it's still a toner. <sighs> I was just so disappointed that they didn't have it. The smell of that toner was so relaxing and it was like really hydrating compared to other toners. I just adored it, but I love everything by Fresh. I'm pretty sure this will be a home run too. It kind of smells the same because it's a black tea line that they have um it's got kombucha which you know i love kombucha it's so good for you <laughs> so i'm i have high hopes for this i will definitely report back but for the price tag it's like i didn't really want to invest unless i knew it was amazing so i really hope that's good and i love that i can feel confident with sephora that their return policy has me covered if like that breaks me out or something okay then lastly for skincare i needed a new i i have decided life is too short to be using things that come in like jars or pots because I don't like, I have long nails. I don't like getting it under my nails. I don't feel like it's very sanitary. So the majority of eye creams come in those little pots and you have to like dig your finger in there and I'm just kind of over it. So I decided to switch it up to one that's in a tube. This will be my morning eye cream because it has SPF, which is really important to me in a morning eye cream. I used to use the Ula and Rickson one that had SPF but um, I don't know if they discontinued it or stopped carrying it, but either way, it's in a tub. So I was like, no, I'm going to switch to a tube or a pump. And I sampled this in the store and what I really liked about it is it is very illumin illuminating as well. Can you see where I put it right here? I don't know if that's showing up, but it does have just like a bit of a brightening thing going on, which is always a plus in the morning. And I still need to get a good eye cream for night. I'm thinking about that drunk elephant one because I've heard amazing stuff, but I did not actually pick it up today. Okay, so that's it for skincare. Moving into makeup. I was relatively stocked up with makeup, but first of all, I was so excited they had this back. The Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. When it came out, I was so excited, but I wanted to wait and kind of let the hype die down and see if it was really worth it, and I think it really was. And it's in this beautiful packaging. I don't want to like spend too much video time opening it, but I've heard nothing but good stuff about this primer and anything with the word silk in the title just kind of calls to me. So I'll let you guys know how that works. Then I got two brow products. I always go to benefit for my brow products. Like I just, I love their packaging. I'm going to be real. Like the main thing is the packaging <laughs> because I complained before. I don't like the Anastasia like brow pencil packaging. It breaks. It's not cool. I don't know. Like, look at this. This is just so cute. And it's this part up here is a brush. Adorable little eyebrow brush. And then down here is the pot. And I just love that it's all connected. I don't have to have two different things floating around my makeup drawer or if I want to like take it on the go. It's just so clever. I can't help. I have to reward that kind of packaging. 
and luckily the products are great too they really back it up i'm on like my fifth of these in a row this is their gimme brow which is um similar to like mascara for your eyebrows i guess we could say but it works really really well i've been out of it for a while it actually got so extreme that i did use mascara in my eyebrows like just a little bit to try to tide me over and i broke up so lesson learned stick to the benefit products they're so good and they give me like the bigger eyebrows in my dreams so okay here's another thing i restocked that i've been loving for a long time it's the makeup forever lip booster and it's like a lip primer in my opinion i put it on while i'm doing my makeup it's just a clear very very hydrating um like serum for your lips and you know how when you're doing your makeup you get foundation all over your lips i at the end of doing my makeup wipe off the serum gets all the foundation off and underneath i have like a really moisturized hydrated lips ready for lipstick so this is just i don't know it's become a huge staple in my makeup routine here's something new i'm trying it's the ysl mascara i don't know if you can see that but it's the volume effect and I've heard a lot of hype about it. I've let, read a lot of reviews, but I have to admit, I'm a drugstore mascara girl, like through and through. I always regret it when I get high-end mascaras. <sighs> Hopefully this will be different. I'll let you know, but honestly, I always go back to the drugstore for those. Um, okay, this, I was super excited. Another little kit. It's the Stila Glitter on the Go Liquid Eyeshadows. I love liquid eyeshadows. I think they're so much more fun to apply. I think they stay better on me. Um, they tend to be just so glittery that I kind of have shied away from them, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to embrace it. And I saw one of these, I saw the Kitten Karma color on Tony Sub Dallas. I thought it was so pretty. So I decided let's just go for it. And then this kit was perfect. I'm going to swatch these for you because it had that color that I definitely wanted. And then two other colors and they're like cute little mini sizes. So, you know, if it doesn't work out but they are really glittery like wow but i'm just in a phase of my life where i'm feeling the glitter so why not go for it you know for a nighttime look it's so fun just makes your eyes pop so you can see these are the lipsticks up here but these three are the eyeshadows i think they're just so pretty this one's like a little more subtle bronzy color but I just love them all. I will definitely report back. I know they have good staying power because I swatched them in Sephora and I still can't get the old sample off my hand. And I've washed with like soap and scrubbed. So that's always a good sign. Then I like to restock my beauty blenders during the sale. Honestly, I've kind of gotten my life down to where I only do shop at Sephora twice a year. That's why my hauls are so big. But I just like to go all out when things are on sale and then you know ration as much as i can in between but i beauty blenders are something i always use and always need so i like to stock up this was not an extra value they're 20 dollars each and this little kit of two was 40 dollars. i just thought it was so cute it says bbf instead of bff beauty's best friend and this little heart set is just adorable i need to see it up close i think you do too Oh my gosh this is so cute does it come apart or is that oh my gosh it's so adorable it like opens up separately oh there it is okay this is adorable i might need to get more of these this is just so cute and then when you're traveling you have a perfect little case for it, it has like a little egg hole that you can put it in Oh my gosh, I love it. So cute. So it was the same price as two beauty blenders, but like came with this adorable heart case. So all about it. Oops. Okay. Now I restocked some of my old tried and true favorites. The Rich Girl Hand Cream by Deborah Lippman. I come back to it time and time again. I probably talk about it in every vlog. It's very hydrating. It's very rich. And my favorite thing is it has SPF. So you got to protect your hands too, not just your face. Um, I've been using that for so long and I've sworn by it for so long. I was like, I need to go deeper into Deborah Lippman. I've never really used her other stuff. So I also grabbed this cuticle repair cream and I already opened this up cause I really needed some and look how pretty it is. It's like this cool square 
with like an acrylic base. I don't know. I just like that. I thought that'd be fun to keep on my bedside table because I really want to be better about hydrating my cu cuticles at night. And then last but definitely not least, my absolutely beloved favorite, the Bite Agave Lip Balm. I talk about this nonstop. You're probably sick of it, but I grabbed two of them during the sale because I'll definitely go through them. I would have grabbed more if I hadn't done all of this. And it's just the best lip balm ever. So <sighs> that's everything. Okay, wait, let me just show you what I got with, I got this with points. What else did I get with points? I guess that was it. Um, this is the Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter. I love dry bar products. I swear by them. So I'm eager to try that. And then here were the perks that kind of came with being, I mean, you would think the perk was saving 15% on all this stuff. But I also got this adorable little card case. I love the little lips. So cute. This will definitely come in handy. And then this pouch has a brush in it which I think they've given this brush away before in previous years and it honestly didn't like rock my world, but you know, a free brush is hard to beat. So just a cute little, I wonder what this is even designed for. Yeah, I guess you could kind of use it for blush or bronzer, whatever. Hmm. It's soft, feels good. So those were the little perks. And then I also got this sample bag and I feel like they nailed it with the samples. First of all, I almost bought this in the store. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealer. I love their foundation, so I feel like that could be a home run. Then, I love Argan Oil. I don't buy the Josie Marin one anymore because it's so expensive. If you've seen my Trader Joe's beauty video, you know I use their Argan Oil and it seems very much the same for like $42 less, but it's great to have a little to-go one. I can like throw out my suitcase. Then here's a mascara I'm excited to try by Buxom. I love their lip glosses. I've never tried. Okay, I thought it was an eyebrow product from the picture, but no, it's definitely a mascara. I'm eager to try that. Algenis, is that how you say this brand? Um, Anti-aging cream. I was hoping this would be a sample of their collagen serum because I've been intrigued by that, but alas, no. This I was also eyeing in the store, the Fresh Clay Mask. I just, I'm obsessed with Fresh. I'm obsessed with their masks. So very curious to try that. And then this will come in handy with my new purchases. It's a liquid cleanser for beauty blenders. I find beauty blenders are so hard to clean and I don't, you know, you have to be gentle with them. So that seems like a good solution. And then here's a Tarte Hydrating Moisturizer. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I was like, I'm not even gonna step foot in the perfume section because I have a sick addiction. <laughs> if you saw my like perfume collection video, you know. I love perfume, I think it's so fun and girly. And I was just like, I'm just gonna walk by, like, I have my blinders on, but then a smell hit me and I was like, oh, I have to see what that was. And I like hunted it down and it was the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. I've tried the Flower Bomb perfume before and I liked it, but it wasn't like a huge home run for me, but this smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's really sweet. Maybe too sweet for some people. I just got on my nose, which is fine. That's how much I love it. It was so good and I was like drooling over it, but it was $150 and it didn't come in like a roller ball or like smaller, something I could like justify, so I didn't get it. But this Sephora girl was so sweet and she's like, well, let me make you a sample to like tide you over. So, ugh, I'm so, I have to see what my husband thinks of it because we all know he's a little finicky, but <laughs> hopefully he likes it too. Hopefully they release a roller ball so it's less of an investment, but go sniff this if you can. It's the Flower Bomb Nectar. Just came out, I think she said today. So, okay, that was everything. It was a big haul. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are getting. The sale's going on. I'm getting this up nice and early for you so you can consult it. The sale's going on for like two more weeks. Uh, we got some time to enjoy. So let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please hit subscribe if you wanna stick around. I would love to have you on my channel. We do a lot of beauty, planning, organizing, home, lifestyle. I don't know, everything like that. Um, skincare, okay, I'll stop. But hit subscribe, find me on Instagram. Let's chat and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.